Hello, it's N60 Sean, and we're doing another Royal Rumble Protection Challenge video. And the first thing that you're going to notice is that we have a new Dan TDM. Uh, enough of you have said that the last one, which we, we just downloaded, we just downloaded it, um, looked rubbish, had a moustache, too muscly. So many, so many complaints about that Dan TDM. Uh, to be honest, I didn't realise that we were going to be making that many Dan TDM based wrestling matches. Um, but since we are now making a couple more, um, we've decided that we need a decent Dan TDM. And I think this one's loads better than the one we had before. It even looks a bit like him. So, um, uh, although his fringe does look like it's been drawn on with felt tip pen. But that aside, um, we have a new Dan TDM. If you've never seen one of our Royal Rumble Protection videos before, it's very, very simple. Um, uh, I'm going to be controlling Dan TDM. Player 2 is going to be Dr. Traoris, but nobody's controlling Player 2. And it is up to me to protect Dr. Traoris and keep him in the Royal Rumble for as long as possible. If Dr. Traoris gets thrown out, the challenge is over, the game is over, and that is it. We're all very sad. So here comes Dr. Traoris. Uh, cheers to uh, Gecko Gamer 95 and friends, and also Zara2GF, who suggested uh, the... Tra oh, here he is. Look at him giving us a little smile. And there's the Fun Kids radio commentators there um, for suggesting the Dr. Traoris uh, protection challenge. Uh, you guys are awesome. And here we go. Against the Five Nights at Freddy's and Friends crew. Here comes Bonnie. Uh, it was my little cousin Reggie's uh, idea to face off against the Five Nights at Freddy's crew, so shout out to him as we take down Bonnie. And I'll tell you what, Dan TDM, I think you're going to wish that you were your old muscly self against some of these dudes, because they are massive and terrifying. But, oh, I thought I was going to be a quick elimination there to Bonnie, but he just managed to sneak one in. And is he just going to, oh, please don't get us chucked out of this quickly. The worst video ever. Um, right, okay, well done, Dan. You, you, you're back in, mate. Here, oh, here comes Markiplier. Um, Mark Lyer's in this because he's a big Five Nights at Freddy player. So I thought it was only right for him to be here. Um, oh, and he's gone straight for Dr. Traoris, has Mark. Um, as uh, Dan and Dr. Traoris are defending their Minecraft world against these invaders. And uh, so I think in the Jack Septic Eye Protection Challenge, we've got seven or eight? Can't remember. Let's hope we get more than that um, at this. Uh, so come on, it's a Dan TDM though. Grappling with Bonnie on the outside. Now, uh, I'm a little bit worried about Dr. Traoris, but as long as Mark Plyer is just doing moves on him and not actually throwing him near the ropes, then that is okay. We're in a safe space for Dr. Traoris to be. As Dan TDM now comes in to protect uh, Dr. Traoris. And look, look how sad Bonnie looks at being eliminated. Just casually walking away. Beast that he is. Um, uh, right, so uh, Dan TDM with the Irish rip to Mark Plyer. And Mark could be in trouble here, and he could be the second person to be eliminated. And Dan TDM with a super kick. Out goes Mark Applied. Here's Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris. Why are you always in these? You ridiculous man. Dan TDM going to make short work of Chuck Norris. Diamond bomb to old Chuckles. And I think that is going to be it. And all she wrote for Chuck Norris, who has gate crashed this Dan TDM versus Five Nights at Freddy's um, Royal Rumble Protection Challenge. Are we going to have another Five Nights at Freddy's character? Yes, we are. Marionette has just uh, has joined the fray and look how strong it is it took a clothesline and didn't even get knocked down and looks to be just throwing us straight out now if dan tdm is eliminated it is okay as long as we can quickly choose someone before dr treos is eliminated the challenge continues remember the challenge is to protect dr treos is dan tdm with an irish rip to marionette and that's a big stiff elbow knocking him out the uh out of the ring and that's four big four to start with this challenge is going well we haven't we haven't uh, taken too much damage and it need our uh oh, oh it's freddy freddy fazbear this is this is a big one this could be tough he is one of the strongest creative characters that we've got and dan tdm floors him with a battering ram headbutt dan tdm he's gonna be got to be gearing up for the diamond cutter his signature move at some point we've seen a diamond bomb and i think we're gonna be seeing another one here as dan tdm flattens freddy fazbear with a diamond power bomb, and I think that might be the elimination right there. But no, Freddy Fazbear is eliminated it, and luckily we bumped into Dr. Traoris to stop us being whipped into a corner, which is a very, very dangerous place for us to be. But now we're on the outside of the ring, which is an even more dangerous place for us to be. And Dan TDM needs to be struggling to get back in. It's Foxy has got this jumped into the ring. Dr. Traoris in a bit of trouble here as we try and uh, get Foxy out of the ring. And there you go, that's up, that's us up to five. Slenderman, Slenderman is here. Slenderman has arrived and business is about to pick up and he's immediately gone for Dr. Traoris and Dan is going to have to just run in with a bulldog. Great protection work 
from Dan TDM, valiantly battling to keep Traoris in this contest. We need to make sure Dr. Traoris does not get thrown out, but he looks like he's going to be taking a suplex driver from Slenderman as we're struggling to get Freddy fast. Right, Freddy is out. Freddy did not last five nights, and he is gone. He is number six. As we just grapple with Slenderman, he just chucks to the floor. Slenderman still too strong at this point for Dan to eliminate him. And there you go, that's just Slenderman trying to rip Dan TDM's head off. And there's a creeper here in our Minecraft world. The creeper who's trying to grapple with, uh, with Slenderman comes straight in. He's over the top rope and surely the creep, the creeper is just going to go and chuck Slenderman straight out. Swag and sass from the creeper. Absolutely taking no, no names. Look at him, look at him, about to skin the cat straight back in the ring. This, who is this creeper? One of the sassiest creepers that we've ever come across. Right, we need to deal with this creeper because he's bad news. I think a super kick is in order here. Dan TDM with the super kick, getting rid of the sassiest creeper to ever enter a Royal Rumble. And uh, their confidence is uh, here. Right, right, right. It's the cookie monster. Because, of course, we don't have 20 um, Five Night at Freddy's characters. It's a 20 man Royal Rumble. So we have to sort of fill in the gaps with other monsters and such like. And the cookie monster has made an appearance. Yep, yeah, you're in, again, you're in the weird part of YouTube. This is Dan TDM slapping about the cookie monster. What on earth? And he's gone. He's number nine, which is definitely our record. Cookie Monster is out. He's, oh, mate. Shadow Bonnie. And this looks like this could be trouble because this guy is massive. We can't be missing with them clotheslines, Dan. As Dan goes for the ride with the overhead belly-to-belly -belly suplex from Shadow Body. Dan TDM, in the first bit of trouble for this entire match, catches him with a huge uppercut and some snap jabs. Shadow Body is on the ropes and he, did, he delivers a huge roundhouse kick to knock him down. And we can't be taunting here, Dan. We need to be capitalizing, and we are doing with another huge diamond bomb, laying Shadow Bonnie out. And I think if we can get rid of him quick, then we're over the halfway point of this rumble. But oh, Shadow Bonnie comes back with a huge headbutt. Look at his big, massive meat egg. Crush our head like a watermelon. And we're in a very dangerous spot here as Shadow Bonnie almost, almost gets Dan TDM out. But Dan TDM still holding on. And as long as Shadow Bonnie is preoccupied with us, then Dr. Traoris remains safe. And Purple Guy, Purple Guy from Five Nights at Freddy's has just laid us out. And what is this? He's gone straight for Traoris, and we're in, a, we're in huge trouble here. Traoris, you need to cling on, mate. Quick, we need to reverse this. Oh, mate, what is Shadow Bonnie doing? Oh, this looks bad. Traoris, hang on, hang on, buddy. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, man. That was going, that was going so well. That was going so well, and mate, that's just sitting on us. I've, I've dropped the controller in complete disgust because he's just chucked our mate out. It's about insult to injury. He sat on us like a toilet, literally, man. And they have PewDiePie's in here, just slapping us. What is this? Just elbowing us in the kidneys. We're sad enough, PewDiePie. And oh, mate, the, the absolute audacity of this guy. Right, that is it. Mate, beast mode, whatever, man. These people need to taste some punishment for what they've just done. Get this bunny out as well. Bunny, Bonnie, whatever your name is. You were just as much at fault as anyone. Nightmare Freddy, you're out. And purple guy, you are taking... Oh, m no way. No way is he going to chuck us out as well. No, I can't do it. I can't have it. Not in my name. Come on, Dan, mate. You've got to hold on, son. That's it. Nice, 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 nice. Chuck this purple sack of disgrace out of this ring right now. The waste man. Reptile, out you go. Subscribe, like, watch other matches. That was Dan TDM versus Five Nights at Freddy's. Watch some other matches. Uh, see you later. Bye. Purple guy, man.